Hi there, I'm Paul Mitchell, leadership coach, author, and founder of The Human Enterprise. And today I want to talk about the power of parenting. Now, I know you may or may not be a parent, but I guarantee you've had a parent at some stage in your life, or I guarantee you know some parents, so maybe you could pass this video on to them. Years ago, many, many years ago, I was a high school teacher, and then I became a high school counsellor, high school psychologist. And one of the books, one of the references that I held dear or dearly to me was a book by a guy called Jack Canfield, 100 Ways to Enhance Self-Concept in the Classroom. And I think the ideas that Jack spreads are as important as they are in the classroom, as they are in the family, as they are in business. But today I want to focus on six things that you can do as a parent to really enhance uh, your children's self-concept. Number one. Let them know they're part of a bigger tribe. You make sure they're talking to their cousins and their nephews and their uncles. Later on, when they become leaders, they will realise the power of community, that everyone has a need to be an individual, but they also have a need to be part of a community. So let them know they're part of something bigger. They're connected. Secondly, set goals with your children. Sit down and ask them what their goals are. More importantly, be a living, walking, breathing role model of goal setting. Set your own goals, have your own vision sheets, but make sure you start to talk to your kids about setting goals. Later on, when they become leaders, they will need to set goals. And if they know the power of goal setting, what it can do and what it can achieve, they're already on the path. Next, give them feedback, but give them feedback in a certain way. You may know the work of uh, Carol Dweck, who talks about a growth versus a fixed mindset. What does that mean for you as a parent? Your child comes home and gets eight out of 10 for the spelling test. You're delighted, but you say, gee whiz, what a bummer. If only you'd got those other two correct, then you, uh, you, you would have got 100%. Gone, thank you for playing. What you do is you give feedback on the process or the effort first. Hey, out, eight out of 10, what a great effort. Show me your markings. How come we were able to get uh, those marks so well? Um, how did you work that out? And then and only then you say, hey, how do we apply that effort and that way of thinking to the two that at this stage you didn't figure out? In other words, the emphasis on feedback is not whether they achieved or whether they not achieved, that's a fixed mindset, but the growth and the learning associated. Next, capture those beautiful memories and those special moments in pictures uh, or photos around the house. Um, here's an example of, of one. This is a, a picture of Abe, uh, my wife Deborah and myself at his 21st birthday party which had a cowboy theme to it. Um, what's your version of that? Might might be it, it, it may be uh, parties, it might be certain events, but surround yourself with those beautiful, beautiful memories. Next, help your kids discover their own passion, their own path, and then support them doing it. It might be stamp collecting, it might be netball, it might be swimming, uh, but be there for them. Foster that sense of passion, not just the, the sport or the hobby, but the fact that the passion is there. This will be so important for them later on in life when they go for a job and they can demonstrate that passion. Sure, they may not have the skills, but they have the passion. They've had the discipline to follow a particular passion for many years. And finally, show up and really show up. There's a famous saying that 99% of success in life is just showing up. So show up. Be there for the parent-teacher nights. Be there for the school fete. Be there for the school canteen. Be there for those special events, the 18th, the 21st, the 15th or whatever, rather than making all sorts of excuses. Let me tell you, you, you would have even forgotten what you attended work-wise, but you'll never forget that you weren't there for your son's or your daughter's 18th or whatever that event is. So, and when you do show up, really show up. Don't be half on your phone and half at the event. Show up wherever you are, be there. So, no open sesame, but six things you can do as a parent to really develop your children's self-concept and to really let them know that you care and you care deeply. I'm Paul Mitchell. Find the passion, develop the skills, make the numbers and make a difference. Hey, thanks for watching this video on the power of small tweaks or small leadership tweaks. We'd love your feedback, so keep it coming via email and social media. And if you believe in the power of small tweaks, I guarantee you also believe in the power of learning. 
So please, if you want to continue your learning, grab a copy of my latest book, Your Leadership Diamond, How to Transform the Way You Live Your Life, Lead Your People and Leave a Legacy. Right now, at the time of releasing this video, we've got some great bonuses available for you. Simply go to yourleadershipdiamond.com and you'll see all the details there. Keep polishing.